My name is Frederick Trovat. I've done photography here in Mexico for the last four years. And this is the photographer's guide to Mexico City. <laughs> I'll share all my best tips on where to go at what times, what to avoid, and yeah, I hope you enjoy it. This is not how Mexico looks. This is how Mexico looks in American movies. This is how Mexico actually looks, just so we got that clear. And make sure to stick around at the end because I will share my best routes that I always walk when I do photography here. There will be a lot of names and locations in this video, so don't worry, I put all the names and everything in the description below so you don't have to pause and write it down and everything. So. Uh, Let's get to it. Let's start with talking about the safety here in Mexico City. There's a lot of bees here, so I'm just gonna change my position. Let's start with talking about the safety in Mexico City. And it's probably the question I have been asked the most about. And Mexico City, while it has a little bit of a different reputation, like Mexico in general, it's like any other big city. So if you go to downtown LA or in New York or Moscow, uh, <laughs> everyone will have different opinions and it very, it's very subjective. But for the past four years, I have been walking around here with my camera and a GoPro and everything. And I have no issues because I also knew where to go at what times. But you should just treat Mexico City like any other big city. You need to know where to go and I will tell you where to go. And then if you are a little bit afraid or a little bit intimidated, then go with someone you, you know. Maybe it is a little more risk to be a single girl here in Mexico City walking around with a camera than it is to be a guy. I couldn't tell you, but that's just my gut feeling. And also, when it comes to safety, just use your common sense like any other big city. Don't walk around with your crazy expensive camera alone in the middle of the night. I don't care what area you're in. In the evening, I would not recommend it. I have done some uh, videos where I do street photography at night here, but it's uh, it's a little more risky, I would say. Yo fotografía a la gente de México. ¿Puedo tomar una foto? Muchas gracias. Right now we're in Condesa which is one of the more hip and uh, very tourist and foreign friendly areas. Condesa is right next to another colonia, which is called, which is La Roma. Those two are like neighbors and it's difficult for you to know when you step into one or the other because it's very similar. La Condesa has a little more, a little more green juice and fitness, but that's probably the biggest difference. And it's very green here, as you see. And I'll put links to all of these names and locations that I will talk about in this video. Pardon, amigo. Puedo tomar tu foto? Exactamente con eso. Y mira aquí. If you just arrived here in Mexico City and you don't really know your way around, La Condesa and La Roma is probably the safest bet for you to take out your camera and go out and take photos. I would not worry at all about walking around here with my camera. But yeah, it's very subjective. Some people would say you should worry a little bit in general. I don't, because I would rather focus on taking good pictures than being completely paranoid at all times. Another place that is very safe and worth checking out is a place called Polanco and Chapultepec. They're right next to each other. So Polanco is this like a more like fancy upper class area where you see all these like Gucci, Louis Vuitton stores and everything. It's very pretty. It's not really my, ki my kind of photos, but it's very pretty to see. And it's very, very safe, very expensive. And Chapultepec is this really huge park, very pretty with a lake and boats and everything. That's definitely also worth checking out. Very family friendly, very safe. And also I've made a print shop with photos that I've taken here from Mexico City and I put links to those in the description too if you're interested to see how my photos look or interested in buying a print. Another place, <laughs> the sun is so bright. Another place worth checking out and that's one of my favorite places to take photos and that's a place called Coyacan which is around 40 minutes, 30 minutes drive from Condesa and La Roma. So it's super easy. And also whenever you drive around in Mexico, don't take the public uh, taxis. Always go with Uber or Didi because you want to be able to have your, have your ride 
being tracked always and it's very cheap so whenever you go places order uh, uber or didi and you're good but this you see here is queer Khan, and it's so so nice and so like a family place hey, mira, mira. Aha, sí. Perfecto, muchas gracias. on sundays there's so many people and so many people to photograph if you're into photographing people or doing street photography Perdón, amigos. ¿Puedo tomar una foto? Perfecto. Y... <ríe> Qué chido. Perfecto, muchas gracias. So, uh, do you have a recommendations for people who just got to Mexico City? Of course, you have to go to the Alameda. Right now I'm talking about all the super safe places like La Roma, Condesa, Coyacán, and then Centro, it's fine, but it's a little more risky. Maybe. If you go on an early morning, you will not have any problems and the light will be better, probably. True. So that's or in the, when the sun is setting. When the sun is setting, but then you get, can get caught in the night in the city that's center. That's true. So I would recommend you go like 6, 7 in the morning. That's true. That's a good tip, actually. That was cool. So apparently this guy watches my YouTube channel. And yeah, I have so many uh, videos on my YouTube channel where I do photography in all different kind of places in the city. So you can check those out after you have watched this one. Centro Historico might be one of the best places for photos. And it's a little more riskier than uh, La Roma, Condesa and Coyacan. But it's my favorite and it's where I go to maybe seven out of ten times I do photography here in Mexico City because in Centro Historico there's every person. There's every person in every class of the society. Puedo tomar una foto de ti? Con con ti? Okay, buen día. <laughs> that one was like nah 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 and then she gave me one of these on the cheek like no no no. It's a more authentic look into what Mexico City actually is where Condesa and La Roma, where we are right now, it's a little more segregated and a little more like high-end and pretty. So if you want to take photos of something that is a lot more Mexican, then go to uh, Centro Historico. And like our new friend just said, when you are there, it might be a good idea to go in the morning or go with someone else that you know if you're new to the city because it's a little more rowdy and a lot more things can happen there. No, por eso no puedes ir grabando. Por favor, por favor, por favor, bueno. It's not like it's unsafe, but you just need to be more careful. Think of it as downtown LA, I think. So it's not a place you want to go alone in the evening or at night with your camera if you're new to the place. But if you're here for a week, that's plenty of places for you to go to. La Roma and Candesa, you do those two at the same time, very safe. And if you're a little more adventurous, then go to downtown or El Centro, as it's called, and either go with someone or go in the broad daylight and you'll be fine. Then you take a trip to Coyacan, and then when you are in Coyacan, you can also stay there for like half a day and take photos. Very pretty, very safe. This wouldn't be a Mexico photography guide unless we talked about the pyramids in Teotihuacan. <laughs> no! I've been to the pyramids many times and it's, it's a cool sight, especially if you've never seen pyramids before, and I hadn't. But one of my most like, memorable times was when I invited a UFC fighter called Brian Ortega to the pyramids, as you see here, and we did a photo shoot there. The pyramids are like one and a half hour away in a car, so what I usually do is I take an Uber with whoever is going there, and then we say to the Uber driver, can you stay here until we're done? Brian, can I give you one last challenge? Yeah. Can you get down there where they are? When they're out of the picture, you have all the space for yourself. It's going to be a dope photo. 
and a little shadow boxing. And seeing the pyramids and climbing them takes around maybe two hours. And then uh, the Uber driver waits for you and he drives you back. That's probably the best idea. And when you go there, I would recommend to eat before because the restaurants there are not great. And some of them are very shady. So uh, eat before you go and then check them out. Climb both of the two pyramids, go home and find something nice to eat after. And when you go here and you want to try the street tacos, which you should, I mean, I cannot guarantee you won't get like a, let's say a troubled stomach. I have never had it, but a lot of my friends who came here, who are very stubborn, especially my older brother, he wanted to try everything with his family and they all ended up with tough stomachs. So depending on how stubborn you are, how uh, strong your stomach is, the more street tacos you can take. You cannot be in Mexico City without trying the street tacos. I mean, come on, it just doesn't work. I do a lot of film photography or analog and a lot of other people might do that as well. So if you're in Centro Historico or if you're into film photography, then you need to go to a street called Donceles, which is like a street filled with different cameras. And there's a lot of uh, different shops that sells uh, used analog uh, cameras. So make sure to check it out and I put links in the description. And we're not done yet here, we're just warming up. So that was like the main places I always go to. Now there's places that are open at different times or specific events like the Day of the Dead. Let's get into that. So on Saturdays, there's two things that I would like to highlight that are so worth going for. Whenever my mom is here, she wants to go to those places every time. So first place is called La Ciudadela and it has a little market that is very nice with a lot of like very Mexican traditional uh, things to buy. And right next to that place is a place where they every Saturday dance dance on. Sometimes also Sunday, but Saturday is the best day. And as you see right here, it's just so cool. All these elderly people dressing up always coming with the same partner to dance and hang out. So if you're into just experiencing that and photographing them, that's probably one of my favorite things to do within the city. And it's near uh, Centro Historico in downtown. Okay, okay, listo. No le entiendo yo a ver que es para video. Sí, exacto. Es de Dinamarca. Ah, Dinamarca? Sí, eso es de gente más sencilla. <laughs> now would be a good time to talk about the Day of the Dead because a lot of people are confused about that concept, about when it is, where you should be and so on. So before the Day of the Dead, there is a parade in Mexico called the Day of the Dead Parade. And that parade actually never really was a thing here in the Mexican culture. But then there was a James Bond movie where they created this parade. And since then, Mexico City and Mexico has taken it in. And every year there is a big parade in Mexico City in uh, the historic center. And it's, it's worth uh, going to. There's so, so many people there, but it's, it's fun. You can see some of my videos here where I was there the past couple of years. If you want a good spot, you need to be there five hours before it starts. Like people go so, so early. So uh, make sure if it's, a, if it's a priority for you, you should camp out there six hours before. <laughs> and a couple of days after, on the 1st to the 2nd of November, then that's the real day of the day. That's when people go to the cemeteries and they bring and they celebrate the people who has passed away. But on that day, you don't want to be in the center of the city. Like you could be there and it will still be like a celebration. But if you're into photography and you want to capture the real day of the dead as a photographer, you need to go to either Michoacan or a place called Miskik. You can see uh, some videos here where me and some friends went to Miskik. I think Miskik is like one and a half hour drive in a bus or if you can get someone to drive you, that would be great. And it's a really special thing to see. And then you go to these cemeteries and it's very traditional, very pretty. If you're here for the Day of the Dead, then you should go to where it actually is.
prepare yourself for on the way home because in the evening everyone is leaving Miskik or Michoacan and it gets very crowded and the bus uh, ride took us three and a half hours home last time I think so. The other place you would want to go that is very very nice and probably one of the best art markets in Mexico City is a place called Saturday Bazaar or Bazaar de Sábado. Well, tomar una foto. Sí, 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 sí. Federico, mucho gusto. Federico, qué, qué placer. Jesús, ¿de dónde eres? De Dinamarca, pero vivo en México. Pero ya eres chilango. Sí, exactamente. Ah, <laughs> Buen día. Un abrazo. Sí, un abrazo, un abrazo. Sí, qué bonito, eh. <laughs> It's like a high-end art market. A lot of Americans actually are there when you go there. But as you see here, there's so many people and it's such a friendly vibe. And I go there and I do a lot of different photos and portraits whenever I go. Avid? Avid. Avid, mucho gusto. Mariana. Mariana. It's very safe, very pretty, and maybe you can find some uh, cool things to take home. And uh, it's like 40, 30 minutes drive from uh, La Roma, so not too bad. My last recommendation is one of my favorite places in all of Mexico, especially for people who have never been there. It's a place called Xochimilco, where you can go in these boats. There's people and mariachis and musicians that are sailing by in their own boats, and you can ask them to come over to your boat to give you like a little concert. Every year, me and my friend Edgar is uh, having our birthday celebrations in the boat, and whenever any one of my family is there, we have to go to that place. And it's great for photography too. There's so many good pictures and so many special things going on there. If you go to Mexico City, that's hands down one of my biggest recommendations. Go to Xochimilco, go in the boats and take a couple of hours of taking pictures and hanging out. But that's it for my photographer's guide to Mexico City. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you have any recommendations for what people should do in Mexico City that I haven't touched upon, let me know in the comments so people can read them and check them out. All right, guys, see you next time. Facebook? Mm, YouTube. YouTube, bien. Buen día. Provecho.